friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. You all know my name is Akash, but do you know what Akash means? I know that some of you for sure know what my name means. Akash in Sanskrit means sky, and so do in many other Indian languages. Speaking of which, have you ever looked up at the bright sky and wondered, why is the sky blue? I mean, it could also be colored green or yellow or even purple. So why blue? Well, this video explains it all for you. In short, it all has to do with the sun. Most of the bright white light coming from the sun is actually made up from all of the colors of the rainbow. This is best explained by looking at a prism. When white light travels through a prism, the prism bends the light and separates it into different colors, and this forms the color spectrum. This is why we see rainbows. Each water droplet is acting like a prism and reflecting light off into all the colors. This is then all displayed in the form of a rainbow. But why do we see colors the way they are? Why don't we see other colors? Well, this is mostly because of the way your eyes work and the way light works. Light travels normally in a straight line in the form of waves, and the different colors are actually just waves of different wavelengths. You can't see those waves because they're so tiny small, but you can visualize them. This is red. As you can see, it is the widest wavelength of color that we can see, but it is still very short, about 750 nanometers, nanometers. A blue wave, on the other hand, has the shortest wavelength and is actually about 400 nanometers long. And in comparison, one single strand of human hair is actually about 50,000 nanometers thick. So if this is the width of one single strand of hair, this is the width of the color red. Now we are finally ready to understand why the sky is blue. So when we look at the sky, we see the sun, which emits white light. White light is, like I said earlier, the combination of all the colors together. And what happens is that most colors wavelengths like red, yellow, and green just pass straight to your eyes, mixed together as a mostly white color, maybe a little bit yellow. But the shorter wavelength colors, blue and violet, are just the right size to hit and bounce off the air particles in the atmosphere. This allows for those colors to be scattered off in every direction for all to see, which makes it so much easier to see blue in the sky rather than other colors. That is why the sky is blue. Otherwise, if that blue did not be that exact wavelength, that blue did not scatter, then the sky would just be completely white. And that's not what happens. Because of the blue and the violet waves scattering, and it hits our eyes from every direction, you see that more, and that is why the sky is blue. Well, now you might think, but why is the sky not blue during sunrises or sunsets? Well, there's actually another explanation for that. See, when the sun is near the horizon, there are even more air particles in the atmosphere for those wavelengths to go through before reaching your eyes. So now, the blue and violet light is scattered even more. And if it's scattered too much, you just can't see it. It, it just disappears. And this actually allows the colors of longer wavelengths, red, orange, and yellow, to pass through to your eyes to see a beautiful sunset. 
And that is why a sunset is red. And that ends this video on why the sky is blue. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.